Hi everyone, so today this video is going up on both my chan uh, my main channel and my vlog channel, so if you see it twice, I'm sorry. But, if you haven't seen my blog post, well, go see it. I'm halfway at my target, I'm halfway to my target weight, which means I'm hoping I'll be at my target weight by mid-July, if not end of July. End of July is the absolute target, but... To keep myself motivated when I, like, when I, no, whilst I'm losing weight, I like to go to my favourite shopping outlet and get stuff for my new wardrobe. And normally it's event free and stress free and I don't have to worry about anything. However, Tuesday was a little bit different. And it stems from the fact that for the past four years I've had nothing but rubbish from a certain group of people who are all connected to one person that one person being my ex and even though it could get me in trouble addressing it I have had enough I have had enough of the Facebook messages the tweets the Instagram stuff the snapchat stuff the YouTube stuff you name it they've tried doing it and I've had enough because Tuesday I got a message from someone basically saying don't go back to Oxford because stuff's happening I'm not going to say the exact words because I'm not gonna give that I'm not giving these people that pleasure but it got to the point where I had to get I had to get people to meet me literally when I got back to Oxford because this one person has installed that much like like that much fear into me that I'm so I'm I'm scared of actually leaving a train station without one of my friends being with me. Um I'm laughing because I think it's ridiculous that I'm that scared, but this genuinely happened and I'm sure the friend will see this and comment on the videos and confirm that that genuinely did happen. I genuinely got them to meet me at a train station because I was that scared of someone and you know the past few days since my blog post came out we've had more stuff on Twitter I mean Brett bless him has been dealing with it I've been ignoring it the YouTube stuff I've kind of just learnt to ignore the only thing I'm saying now is yeah okay cupcake because I know I know it, it literally annoys them calling them cupcake it's brilliant um, I could call them snowflake, that's what I used to call them, but I was like, nah, call them cupcake. But, yeah, I, um, I've quite frankly had enough, and I'm surprised I haven't completely snapped and gone off the rails yet. But here's the thing, okay, this one person who broke up with me seems to think that he can ban me from going somewhere regardless of how much history I have with that place, like... It, first of all, when I um, when we first split, he tried to get he literally tried to get me to stop going to Redden and Newbury. Redden was where college was. Newbury, a lot of friends are there. Um, a lot of college friends are there as well. Um, and skating friends. Um, thanks to you, I nearly stuffed up my first year of my A levels because I stopped. I I basically didn't want to go into college. I started skipping college quite a bit. And I only went in when my friends forced me in and for exams, which wasn't the best idea, but I was that scared of this person and that scared of having to see them on a Monday morning that I didn't go in. Worst decision of my life, believe me, don't do it, don't let anyone be... Seriously, I'm kind of learning now not to be scared of this, like literally like to try and not be scared of this person even though he's installed that much fear into me. But, literally... Like, I started training, because of that, I started training with the girls more and more in Oxford, and a lot of them live between, sort of, Newbury and Oxford anyway, and Basingstoke, um, Newbury and Basingstoke and things like that, but, it got to the point where, last year, I found out from someone, I got a phone call, and found out that this person has decided to go up to Oxford for work. Basically, they work in Oxford. Um, yeah. 
I've got friends up there. I've got friends moving into that area. I'm up there loads. Um, I was up there loads before they started working there. They actually knew that I spent a lot of time up there. But now they're trying to get me to stop going up there. And do you want to know something? That, alongside all the crap on social media that I'm facing, I'm done. I've had enough. Here's the thing. If I stop going there, I'm going to let him win. And I'm not going to do that. Because why should I have to live my life in fear? Or why should I have to live my life to the way he wants me to live it? When one, we're not even together. Two, he shouldn't be bothered by what I do. Three... I don't actually give two hoots about him anymore. Four. Um. Go check my Facebook. And you'll see that I've moved on from you. Which you might be surprised by. Given how much rubbish you caused me. How much. You know. The only way that I can pull it to good people. Is basically that. I hate using, I absolutely detest using the word hate. But there is one specific group of people linked to this one person that I use it for. And the message to you lot, I hate you all. Okay? I love my subscribers, by the way, and I love the people who watch my videos apart from that specific group. Um, so, you know, they know who they are, but don't think, you know, everyone else I love. But that was the one message for them that I know they watch my videos. They comment on them. In fact, you know what's really hilarious is that commenting on my videos pushes my engagement up. If you hated me doing YouTube and social media and trying to live my life and make something of myself that much... Here's a tip. Don't comment on my stuff. Literally. But, like, it's always like they don't get it. It's the same with, like, Twitter when they're replying to tweets. And the same with Instagram. And the same with Facebook. Like, you're making more people see my stuff. But you don't want me to be successful. Like, it's, you've made it very clear. You would rather have me hide in my house all day and underneath my bed and be scared of you and never want to come out and basically just like yeah just be stuck in a rut and that uh, you you've made it very clear that you'd rather have me be the most depressed human being on the earth it's not gonna happen in fact Half of the stuff that happens now, I end, I burst out laughing at because it is so ridiculous. Like, the best way I can put it, it's like having a load of school children in the playground having a massive squabble. That's literally all I see when they start. I'm like, oh, they're being a 12-year-old. You know, you're being a 12-year-old. Simple as that. You're being a 12-year-old who doesn't understand life. And life sucks. Like, not all the time, you know, there are some good things in life. But, you know, sometimes life sucks. And sometimes you have to see people you don't want to see. And sometimes you have to, you know, be on the road at the same time as someone you don't want to be on the road at the same time as. Guess what? Get over it. Like... We don't all get to choose the people that are around us. We don't always get to choose people that are around us. We don't always get to choose who we see in the street or who we see in a cinema or a hotel or wherever. But 99.9% .9 of people seem to be able to cope with the fact that they can just blank them out. Like, I'm not being funny. When I go, when I, when I see the said person, I blank, I, I pretty much like, I basically pretend they're not there. Which is really hard. If I'm in my car and I see them, admittedly, admittedly, I may put the pedal to the metal a bit. And there's only one reason why. And that is because I don't want to see your ugly face. 
And they're the only person that I'll use that word for, by the way. Because everyone's everyone apart from them is amazing and courageous and gorgeous in their own way. Apart from that one person who has installed so much fear into me that I had to get my friend to meet me off a bloody train. I'm going to be 21 next week. I shouldn't have to do that. Um, yeah, but... I'm gonna, I just wanted to do that, that's why I've been taking a bit of a break from the vlogs, I'm not doing countdown to my 21st because I haven't been well, and I've had that much rubbish go on, it's almost like they're trying to ruin my 21st, literally, they know my 21st is coming up, they couldn't ruin, they couldn't possibly make my 18th any worse, so why not try and ruin the one birthday that's gonna make up for my 18th, it's not happening, it's not happening, um, try all you want, but karma's gonna bite you, and yeah, karma's gonna bite you. Karma's gonna get you back, and when it does, I'm gonna sit here with some mixed selection of healthy snacks that are good for the diet I'm currently on, like you know maybe some macadamia nuts or some hazelnuts or you know various type things, maybe some biltong because I absolutely love the biltong. But I'm gonna sit here and I'm just gonna watch your whole world fall apart because here's the thing about this person, okay? They say so much rubbish that one day they're gonna trip up, and when they do. Everything's going to unwind and people are going to see what they really are. And literally when that happens, I'm going to laugh. I am literally going to laugh. Because it will pretty much put the icing on the cake and we'll just be, do you know what? This is what you get for causing me so much grief that, you know... I ended up being in a in a place that I didn't want to be in and you know mentally didn't want to be in and I will never go back there and quite frankly I'm that emotionally stable now that the threats don't like literally one of the messages I got by the way guys um from these people was that no matter how much weight I lose I'm always going to be fat Luckily enough, I can just laugh it off. But if you said that to someone who wasn't in my frame of mind and emotionally stable and things like that, literally that could force them into an eating disorder. Like, you just don't do it. The evilness has to stop. And the stupidness has to stop. And the childish behaviour, quite frankly, has to stop. You know, like I've said, sometimes life sucks. You have to see people you don't like. Get over it! Anyway... I'm going to take a little bit of a break from videos. Um, next month, I'm going to be back with a load of videos on my main channel. Uh, I've got loads of stuff coming up for you guys, which I'm so excited for. My vlog channel, I'm going to start trying to do vlogs again once I've had a bit of a break. Um, I've got a very busy week ahead of me of rest, recuperation and birthday prep, um, which I will try and vlog about, actually. But, um, yeah, to the haters... I hope you have a fun and interestingly boring life. To all the other viewers, um, I love you guys. If you're new here, please leave like, please leave a like and subscribe and turn the notifications on because I promise, April and May I've got some really good stuff coming up. I'm really excited to be doing it and hopefully it's going to be good for you guys and it's going to give you a little bit of an insight because I'm fully getting back into like this whole travel malarkey now. Um, with the reviews and things like that. I've not done any travel stuff for ages. I couldn't believe it when I looked at my blog. And I saw I haven't done any travel travel blog posts and travel vlogs for ages. So I was just like, do you know what? We need to get this sorted. So that's what I'm going to do. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And see you all soon.